We're sending Deb Nelson on a mission. Here's my front door. It's ugly. To find style at the big box stores. Then Chris gets hypnotized. You don't see the mark on your head? Oh my god. I thought it was going to cluck like a chicken, but it's not like that. It's actually a powerful tool. Plus, the wine leaders are here. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne. We take life one sip at a time. <laughs> and Smart Shopper goes to the dog. How do I choose? Oh my gosh. There's even beaver in a can. I'm Chris. I'm Stephen. And this is Stephen and Chris. You get away sometimes to have some fun in the lights. All the way to somewhere on a warm summer night. Okay. Hey, everybody. Hey, Jordan. How are you doing? <laughs> Welcome, everybody. It's great to see you guys. Well, hello, everybody. We have a rip-roaring show I today. Have a, you know what? I want, to, I want to start off by talking. You know what I had to do this morning very, very early? <laughs> I had to get up very early, and I came into the studio, and I got hypnotized. He still is. I, I know. Yes. You right. know, you might not know this about me, but I'm a little hyper, <laughs> and um, she calmed me down. I really feel relaxed right now. Wow, Her good name is Georgina. You. She's coming up later on the show. I absolutely love her. Well, I'm very, very excited today because our first segment, I think, is absolutely fantastic because, uh, let me tell you a little story. Years ago, uh, when I started designing I, I wanted a lot of beautiful things like lamps for instance or decorative accessories and I really had two choices I either had to pay a lot for it they were very in life are way more complicated than they really are and I think serving wine is definitely one of them and to make it simple we've invited Georgia and Suzanne the wine ladies hey guys You guys can freely walk around with wine. How are you? <laughs> Good, how are you, honey? Hi, Steven. Oh, great to, great to see you. Do you guys great go shopping with your wine glasses and you're in the mall? No? <laughs> Absolutely. Just, like, because it's, it's always research. You guys are always working, right? And we always you take said. life one sip at a time. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fun. Okay, we have to get right to business. We have to All talk right. about wine. You know what? A lot yes. of people are intimidated by wine. They Shouldn't are. be, yeah. I know, well, I'm not attempted to drink it, but I'm, I'm <laughs> right. intimidated to, to buy it. Like, mm -hmm. You know, what to buy, what to get, how to open it, how to serve it. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be that way. Well, geez, with glasses like that, no. <laughs> um, so let's talk about first chilling, because mm -hmm. I think that's a really important one. It um, is. Because in my house, the wine gets thrown into the freezer before you serve it, and that's okay. not good. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It's it's not terrible. I mean, okay. it's not the best way to chill your wine. Right. And just don't forget about it, Stephen. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, I have done that. That's just been messy. And here we have, uh, a, a, obviously, our ice bucket. Uh -huh. Yes. Now, you guys have a quick trick for the ice bucket. Absolutely. What you need to do is, big tip is don't just put ice in the mm -hmm. bucket. Put mm -hmm. a little bit of water, a little bit of salt, and that way it surrounds the entire bottle so it cools down a lot quicker. There okay, you go. Okay, so this is <laughs> like, is this what you're going to season it? <laughs> Look at me, I'm cooking, Mom. Look at yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> exactly. um, and that'll cool it quicker. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. now we have a bottle of red wine in here. I thought that was a huge no no. Definitely not. Not in your house. Well, it's no? all about room temperature, right? Okay. Now, in the olden days, when room temperature was about 16 degrees centigrade, because we didn't have central heating, right. mm -hmm. that was the room temperature. Now, we're at about 22 degrees, 20 degrees, which is a lot warmer. So it's a good, a good idea to chill your red just a little bit. Just like, what, like minutes? Yeah, 20 minutes? Yeah, five, 10 minutes. Five, yeah, ten depending minutes. on. Now, when you're thinking of chilling your wines, it's all about the weight. Oh. It's always about well, the weight. Well, you know in this case, it's about the molecular weight. And maybe we'll get into that in another segment. Okay, yeah. Well, usually for me, that's why it gets in the freezer, because i got to get to the bottle quick. Okay. Um, so, next thing. Uh, oh, we have also this thing here. Now, this is really cool, mm. guys. Has anyone ever seen this? And can we just get a shot of this? Okay, look how chic this is. It looks like it's for killing vampires. Because you pull this out. Multi-purpose. And what is this, guys? It's a wine scepter. What you do is mm -hmm. you put that in the freezer for a couple of hours, mm -hmm. and then you place it in your bottle, and it, the wine is maintained at the, at the right temperature, at the temperature. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Isn't it gorgeous? I've never seen this. It's yes. about $150. 150 well, mm -hmm. But you know what? A great like, wedding gift or something like that. Beautiful. It's, you it comes know, in a beautiful box as this, well. I think mm -hmm. this I think, look, it's like, cool. That's okay. lovely. So <laughs> let's get into opening, because right. this is where it all happens. So yes. first one we have. Okay, well, 
We brought a variety of openers here. Mm -hmm. uh, Suzanne, maybe you want to demonstrate with the... Well, what the, we've got uh, is the, the waiter's friend, which is mm -hmm. the classic opener. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, the in inexpensive way to open up your wine. But the problem is sometimes it can be a little bit difficult. You know what? I think it's always difficult. <laughs> <laughs> trouble with those with these you know, you end up, you put the bottle between your legs, you're doing now, that. that's and, a no-no. And it's okay. <laughs> but that's what, yeah, that's what happens. It's true. It's very, okay. very difficult. What you have to do is you have to make sure that you put it right in the center. Mm -hmm. And to open up the wine... And that's a right. challenge sometimes, too. I mean, I have an astigmatism. I can never find the center. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now there you go. Oh, see, I broke see? it. Oh, you broke it. So oh, this, okay. happens. this happens. Okay, so Georgia, why don't you use the other one? Yeah, exactly. And what I wanted to say was we brought in a range of openers. Okay. And this here is a scruple. Now, this is called a lever pull okay. to open up your wines. And this is awesome because this is a one-two sort of way to open your wine. Put and now on. this is one pull. up down and out you go. Right. So there's a lot of advantages. If you ha if you party a lot like we do, you know, it's quick. <laughs> you open up a lot of bottles and you don't have to have brute strength. You know, of course, if you have a handsome, strong guy like Stephen around here. Right. Let's see those biceps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I end up doing this cracking the cork. Sometimes yeah. your, your cork falls into the bottle and this is a cork retriever. You can get it out that way. A cork retriever? Mm -hmm. Okay, because yeah, that's like a fishing expedition. Wow, well, that's cool. And you can actually go down and fish it out. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you also have a range of these guys as well. Because yes, this is the rabbit. That is uh, everybody. That's pretty well, uh, quite well known now. That's there. These are all lever styles. Okay. This sells for sixty dollars. This is the Trudeau. This is ninety nine dollars. And uh, there's a place called the Wine Establishment. It's like a kid in a candy store. You can find all really cool things there. <laughs> like it's like the one of store. my favorite spots. <laughs> kid in a candy store. Mine's <laughs> 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 more into like hardware stores, but okay, the wine store. Well, um, yeah, everybody has their favorite, I guess, right? Absolutely. And this one sells for the elegant model scruple. Sells for two twenty five. Wow. So a little bit okay. pricey, a little bit pricey, but, but a, a full. Range. Yes. Now, decanting, and this is something mm. I do not do. How important is decanting? Well, there are two main reasons why you decant. First mm -hmm. of all, you want to aerate your wine, get a little bit of oxygen in the wine, mm -hmm. so the, the tannins are lessened for those big tannic wines. Right. And secondly, uh, sometimes the older wines, you have a little bit of sediment in the bottle. Mm -hmm. okay. So you want to get rid of the sediment, leave the sediment in the bottle, and drink the wine. Okay. And that's why here, you guys have, um, a little bit there's of like a, a little filter. Yes. We brought, we brought you two. This, this is more for the wines that need a little more oxygenation. Oh. So there's a greater surface area. This is for one that you just want to remove the sediment. But I want to remind everybody, if you, are, if you have a wine that needs to be decanted, make sure you get the bottle of wine in the morning and put it upright so the sediment has time to settle to the bottom of the bottle. Interesting. Now, mm. should I decant all wines like like red white you, you, you can do you can do okay. I mean like there's a visual component as well sure. but most wines are decanted for the purpose of aeration the sediment is something that is not usually an issue because not many people buy that many right. aged wines yeah so most you're... wine is drunk within 45 minutes of getting it from the store yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's actually yeah, you're true. Right. Yeah, you're right. And uh, we have here now, you know, just, uh, you know, if you happen to have a bit left in the bottle. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm yeah, I mean, who does, but, What's yeah. wrong with you anyway? I know, you <laughs> never do. Finished. But, uh, yeah, so uh, you guys have a few tricks here to keep it fresh, mm -hmm. I guess. Half bottle. Half bottle. Yep, always a great idea to half bottle on hand. Okay. Then we also brought something that takes the air out. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is the air vacuum mystery. vamp. And I think this is really yep. cool. This is try? very, very cool. Put this on top of the bottle, mm -hmm. this takes out the air, and this is like, gotta listen to the click. When you hear the click, click, all the air is gone. All the air is gone. And you just leave the, leave the uh, stopper on there till you're ready to come back and enjoy the wine. And how long will this last? Oh, a good, good three Two or four. Three days. Yeah. Yeah. Three or four, four days. days. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's good. And you can just pull it off. Yeah. And this little crazy thing here. This, this is kind of cool too. Now, it's a bit this dangerous. Is a, this is, look out, no. <laughs> yeah. This is a combination of nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Wow. And you just put it in the bottle. Do a little. Okay. Psh, psh, yeah, and you don't want what? to put it in where the wine is actually. Give it like that. <laughs> Ooh. And what You're is not that? supposed to get. And this, this remove takes takes the place of the oxygen. So this is nitrogen like and carbon a dioxide. So it builds the barrier. So quickly put your. Where's, oh. where's, where's the cork? Where's the cork, where's the cork ah. back on? <laughs> quickly put the cork back on. And this sells for twelve ninety five, and it's good for one hundred and twenty wine savers, depending on how much wine you've left wow. in the bottle. Wow, I think that's Pretty brilliant. Cool, eh? Well, yeah. there. I'm no longer afraid of wine. Are we afraid of wine anymore? <laughs> not at all. Thank you so much, guys. It's been incredibly informative. Great.